Hi, today we will learn how to use the high speed counting feature in the S7-1200. Today's project is called the length cutter. I have here, this is look like a DC motor, is actually an incremental encoder. For every revolution, this encoder will give me 600 pulse and it is connected to input 00, zero to my PLC. Now, the question is why not using normal counters? Normal counters can detect maximum 2000 pulse per second. So if my, uh, my application will give me more than that pulses, I need to use a high speed counter. First step is you go to add a new block and you add a hardware interrupt. We'll speak about this later. Then you go to the properties of your PLC and from there you enable. Notice here I have six high speed counter built in in my CPU. So I'll enable high speed counter one. Type of count, I can use count frequency. So I'll choose count, two phase or a single phase. Uh, I over B, I'll, my count, my encoder is a two phase. Uh, sometimes I use a single phase if I'm connected to a function generator to simulate. I have uh, an encoder. Initial counting direction is up. Now, the initial counting value, my, my CPU will start counting from zero and the reference value is a thousand. I want something to be happen when it reach thousand. Remember this, initial value is a thousand. Now, uh, reset option, I can use an external input to reset the value. This actually, the event configuration, I need to generate an interrupt when the RV equal the CV, when the counting value equal to the reference value. So we'll come here. Remember the hardware interrupt we added just a minute ago. You will choose it. This is the hardware interrupt that will be enabled or the CPU will go actually to that portion, to that program when this happened, when my initial value, remember, is a thousand pulse. So when high speed counter count thousand, it will go to uh, OB4T. Now, the hardware inputs, as I mentioned, my encoder is connected to input 00 and input 01. And my input addresses, the counting value is actually uh, an image in, this, in, in the thousand. So in order to read the current counting value, I will use ID thousand. And the hardware identifier, this is the identifier for high speed counter one, is 259. Now, I'll go to the hardware interrupt from the counting. There is a control high speed. I'll bring it here. Remember, the por this portion of the program is the interrupt. Well, the CPU will come here only when CV equal RV. So what I'm doing here, the first important thing is to identify which high speed counter you are using. So you will have to, cho to choose the high speed counter that you are using now, which is high speed counter one with the hardware identifier of 259. When this, when this event happened, I want to have a new counting value, a new reference value. So I'll put those two values to one. Now, the new counting value, I want to store it in MD208. So in case I'm using uh, an HMI, uh, I can change this value connect this value to the HMI and change this value from the HMI. And the new reference value is MD212. I added another line here, always to set this bit. Remember, my program should, when the number, I'm, I reach the certain number of count or certain length, the output should be, be on to, to cut the material to the certain length. So I will not turn the output here because this is only one scan program. But I'll go back to the main, and in the main, when this bit will be enabled, I enable this bit through the, the hardware interrupt, I'll enable a pulse timer for a certain amount of time to turn uh, an output. Let's assume it is a, a, a pneumatic cylinder connected to a cutter, and I will reset this bit also. Uh, it's also worth to mention sometimes if your counting value does not reach just go to your input your digital input there is a, a filtering time input filter you need to change this if you are working with high frequencies uh, like 50k or more you need to change the input filter for your digital input 
Now, let's put this program. I'll go to the watch table. In the watch table, I added the ID 1000, which is the counting current counting value, the timer, uh, the new CV, the new reference value. Remember, the initial reference value is 1000. So I'll monitor those. Since this is already working, I'll just put it to stop and run again. So basically, I'm restarting my CPU so that every value, the counting value will go to zero. And I'll I change the MD212, which is the reference value. I'll change it back to uh, this value, 2000. So I'll modify this. And now I'll increase, I'll start to turn the, the knob. We can see. Uh, now, remember, the initial value was 1,000, so I'm, I'm expecting when it reach 1,000, it will go back to zero because this is my new CV, and then we'll get a new reference value to 1,000. So let's see, if it goes to 1,000, go back to counting value to zero, and the output should be on. So 1,000, the output is on, and value back to zero. Now it should take the new value, which is the 2,000. So if I continue... I will notice that I will pass the 1,000, and I'll go to the 2,000, and then go back to zero, and my output is on again. And this is how to uh, cut the material to a certain length. It does not depend on time or anything. It is the real length. So I'll. Uh, this is how, how it works. I hope you learned how to use the high-speed counter. See you in next video.